usually when people play Beethoven, um, you're playing it on modern instruments and you're playing it as a fairly old piece of music. When you play Beethoven on modern instruments, you don't get the sense that these were revolutionary pieces. You get the sense that these are, these are great pieces of music, and that's about it. He was really writing in such a way that pushed these instruments to their absolute limits and then slightly beyond them. Beethoven wrote these symphonies for a period group, for these instruments that Taff music is using. So if you want to have an authentic approach to Beethoven's symphonies, you have to do them in that way. We approach them as if they were the very, very first performance. Everybody is giving everything possible for this music and playing with the full heart and full soul and spirit. And that is the secret of a great performance. I think one of the most striking things upon first hearing a, a classical orchestra on original instruments is the color of the wind instruments. It's just so different from a modern orchestra. So we bring that and then we bring um, a group of very, very distinguished stringed instruments, uh, beautiful old um, instruments that collectively make a sound which people can often immediately identify as tough music. Neil Lamont, a music director, brings uh, to the table as well. As leader of the orchestra, she's so incredibly passionate about the music, but also about the playing. The string play, the string section in Taufa music is extremely, extremely explosive and exciting. There's a real, real uh, energy in, in the string section. We play in a highly articulate way with a big variety of different bow strokes and articulations and um, it just makes a, a immediately very different sound. Usually for an orchestra, Beethoven symphony, it's like a, a, an old road and, and the ruts are very deep on the road. And with Bruno, it's almost like we've paved a new road. Here we are, we're starting fresh. He does so much work over the year, researching, going through manuscripts, trying to find things in the music people haven't found before. And sometimes uh, he'll address the audience and say, pretend you're hearing this for the first time. Here we are, the premiere of the symphony. Forget the recordings, forget all the concerts you've seen the first time you've heard this, and there's a real excitement in the hall, on the stage and in the audience. have this experience and to have Bruno's insight into these works, which I think he does Beethoven and Haydn, I would say, better than anyone. It's his complete inspiration and, and he's completely one with, with the music and understands it on every level, I think. It's very inspiring for us. It's a relationship 
that was always good but has gotten better over the years and every year it goes deeper and more important I think for both sides musically and in every way. Um, Bruno is a remarkable musician and I think that the synergy, the energy that is created when Tafel music is playing for Bruno and when Bruno is standing in front of Tafel music is really uh, phenomenal. I think we just treasure every rehearsal, every moment that we can make music together. Well, the greatest thing is that, now, that we are all friends now. And it's, it's the real friendship that grows, that, that comes naturally, and that is, uh, I have, don't have that with any other orchestra in the world. And that makes it so special, and that's why I love working with them. And when you have real friends, you trust them, and you can go ways, go uh, new ways that you would not dare to do with people you are not really uh, familiar with. What I've really appreciated from Bruno is, is that sense of giving us the leadership and, and giving us full intellectual freedom to essentially get at what Beethoven was intending. I think it's important for Telfer Music to record the classical repertoire, and in this case Beethoven, because we have a special opportunity to, to almost come at it with new ears and with new eyes. We, we bring our experience of the earlier the, uh, repertory that, that, that historically culminated, if, if you will, in Beethoven. And I think it's, we bring this incredible perspective because our roots are so firmly in the early 18th century. When we play Beethoven, we're suddenly experiencing what the audiences in Beethoven's time must have experienced when they, they saw how Beethoven took the form of a symphony and, and expanded it beyond anyone's wildest imagination. We're coming from the Baroque literature and classical. We're coming from, from Bach and Mozart and into Beethoven. And we can see and feel Beethoven pushing the limits the way um, you don't feel when you're coming at it from the other angle. We try to find Beethoven's truth, as I said before. And we, we pretend not to be in a recording session. We do it with full risk, like a concert. So we do big, big takes, record a complete movement, and with, with full energy and not a, a security like you do when you do recordings that everything is together, things like this. We go with full, full risk, like in a concert, and that may be the secret of the success of a recording. It's a real symbiotic relationship um, among touring and recording and playing a big series at home. We play our 50 concerts at home. Uh, we make recordings which add to our reputation and enable us to tour more and be hired more. Of course, a recording is also a, a record of uh, our growth.